You again? What do you want? My friend is curious about your helper. Ah, uh, she's just a sidekick factor build. Thousands of them rolled off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Really not much more than a floating lantern and headlamp from a lunch shaper. She says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. Do you know where I can find a power source? If I did, I'd have salvaged it myself and brought it to the tower. Since you're so close to her, do you know how I can talk to Metromind? Ha! <laughs> talk to Metromind? What? Metromind has an entire city to run. But her eyes and ears are everywhere. If she wants to talk to you, she will. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. It... Scraper. After the last big cave-in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. It's on the simple side, but a hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it, probably. That's what most of us do for Metromine these days. Stole it. Hey, you say router, I say router. Anyway, not my problem. Where can I find Scraper? Do I look like a tour guide? Piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. When will the bridge be passable? Soon? Well, seeing how the last remaining Airbus just crashed, I'd say opening the bridge to pedestrian traffic. So I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. A month? Give or take. And there's no other way off Main Street? Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. Goodbye. Uh-huh. I'll trade you this lantern for your helper. Nice try. You aren't an approved Metropolitan vendor, and even if you were, you'd have to propose the exchange through the proper channels. And anyway, why would I trade a thinking lamp for that piece of junk? Well, boss, somewhere in there is our power core. Anybody home? You know, boss, I don't think that's ever going to work. You never know. It's far too high to try climbing. First, yeah. Boss, even if there's some code to crack here so that we can understand what it's saying, I propose we just ignore it. Maybe, for once, the other robot can figure out how to communicate with us. Agreed. Hey, Armstrong, top me off, will ya? Excuse me. Sir, my apologies, sir. 187th Legion Belt, Surly Company, reporting. Uh, Horatio Nobelt, version 5. A pleasure. Horatio Nobelt, sir? Never heard of any service bot with that designation. Still, it's good to see another Urbanian, sir. After things got foobarred back home, I figured Surly Company was all that was left. Urbanian? What are you talking about? Assad. Finally meet a friend when he uses Christ as primer. No offense, sir. Just hoped. Well, never mind that. How can I assist you, sir? 
Can I try opening that door? Believe that, sir. The authorities told me that no one goes in till the door opens on its own. But aren't we on the same side? Affirmative, sir. But since I'm on Civdiv now, my programming requires me to submit to the local authorities. Why are you in line? Seeing as how I'm on the outside now, sir, I figured I had to go pay restitution for shooting up the enemy HQ. Enemy HQ? Yes, sir. That big tower in the center of the city. Okay, so why haven't you paid? It sounds like all of this happened a long time ago. Years ago, sir. But the courthouse has been locked down the whole time. I figured they'll open it up eventually, and then I can clear my name. What if it doesn't open? Well, sir, I know all about it. Hurry up and wait. How do you know you even have to pay something? This seems logical, sir. What if I could pay your fine for you, or get it cancelled? Well, sir, then I'd be much obliged. I'd probably just leave town. Can't say that I'd much like being in enemy territory. And how are we gonna do that, boss? I'll figure something out. Surly Company? Urbanian? What are you talking about? Um, well, sir, I'm not sure quite where to start. I had you figured for one of us, seeing as how you came up as a friendly on my IFF. I could see you as a member of Surly Company, boss, but as friendly? No. Zumi's got some mouth on him, huh, sir? Always do those flyboys. Look, why don't you just give me a quick rundown? Well, sir, can't see the harm, and if you are a decoy. War's over, after all. It was over before Surly Company even deployed. See, we're Urbanian robots. A long time back, Urbanian and Metropol got to fighting over something. Who knows what? The Metropolitans fried our civilians, and Legion told us to strike back. Word was, some big airship of ours was supposed to knock out Metropol's defenses, and we'd just come in from Mappa. But the Metros took our ship down with their own heavy hitter, some giant named Goliath. I see. Anyway, Surly Company was all that was left, so we deployed 200 strong. What happened then? Well, it's a long march for Urbani, sir, and most of us... Well, most of us broke down on the way. All said and done, the only ones who made it were me, 113th, and a signal bot we called Primer. The rest are all out there in the dunes somewhere. I'm sorry. War's war, sir. If it didn't crash hard, they wouldn't have built us in the first place. If it makes you feel any better, Horatio cut a finger off a giant robot that I'm pretty sure was Goliath. Well, sir, someone ought to stick a medal on your chest. What happened to 113th and Primer? After we got to Metropole, we tried to put up a fight, but couldn't do much. They fried 113th, and my rifles jammed. Primer surrendered on our behalf. After dressing us down, they took all my big guns and sold the 113th shell to some scrap dealer. Primer never was the same. He encrypted part of his own logic so he wouldn't have to think about losing the war any longer. Then, he disappeared beneath the city. And me, I came here. How did the war end? For Surly Company, it ended when we staggered in here and surrendered. Beyond that, sir, it's all above my pay grade. Through this, sir, we never even knew what we were fighting for, let alone what the Metropolitans wanted. So I can't say for certain that Metropole won, but I'm pretty sure Urbani lost, what with all the civilians being dead and the army being beaten. Goodbye. Well, run out, sir. Hello? Hello? I don't think I can hear you, boss. Ahoy, my dear friend! Oswald Factorville, at your service. So, or your dear friend, Van Rex is your creation, you besotted gear oiler. Oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better? Better? I'll show you bitter, you backbiting boss snatcher. I think I like these guys, boss. Do you know where I can find a power source? Alas, my friend, power is not so abundant in Metropole as it once was. Mac and Metro Mine seized it all, seized it, and doles it out. And there's hardly enough to go around now. Metro Mine keeps all power sources in the Great Tower where the Council used to meet. If you want to share it, you will need to pay her in megacycles. Megacycles? Yes, megacycles, you ninny. Same cycles, brain power. The kind of power she really wants. Her low-rate processor was made for running trains, not a city. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has lots of claws and shoots lasers. It stole something of mine. Have you seen it? Indeed. The robot you describe sounds like Scraper, Metromind's enforcer. Whatever he took is gone forever. I refuse to accept that. Oh, he refuses. How delightful. Goodbye. Cheerio. 
where to go now? What are you doing here? Waiting. For what? My bus. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. It will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. I must go home. Metromind will take me home. Bus stop. Buses run every 10 minutes. 10 is crossed out and 30 is written below it. 30 is crossed out and 60 is written below it. 60 is crossed out and daily is written below it. Daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out and surface suspended is written below it. Did you buy an Urbanian robot named 113th Legion Belt? I've done a lot of trades, Tyro. I can't be expected to keep track of them all. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. That there's an old Nova robotic subsistence coil. Not interesting. This is a Sterling Air Motor. Would it help me fly? Nope. Then we don't need it. Hey, look, boss, it's a glass finger. If we got five of them, I could have a hand. What would you do with a glass hand? What wouldn't I do? You want it? You're gonna need to bring me a glass thumb. Oh, don't wipe yourself. <laughs> One fine motor you spotted there, Tyro. Foreign bill, out of Sabitas. Can't do better. But if you can find a bigger one, let's talk. Boss, is that another battery? Looks like it. Finest double-A battery you'll ever see. May as well call it triple-A and so far. Wow, that would have been useful to have before I went rummaging around a pile of tires in the junk pile. Now, not so much. That's a fine tool. Got a half-life of a thousand years, guaranteed. I'm not sure you know what half-life means. You want it or not, I'll trade it to you for something shiny. A binary out of this. Finest calculate instrument. I'm fairly certain that my math coprocessor is superior. This here's a tape measure. Ooh, get it, boss, get it! Why do we need a tape measure? So I can finally determine my circumference. <laughs> Cairo, I'm gonna do us all a favor and not trick you this one. That old boy is a plug boy. I know what it is. Well, okay then. Bring me something that'll cover a face and it's yours. Good idea, Leopold. You'd look much better with a mask. Watch your stories. Anyway, we don't have time to go around building circuit boards. Famous last words, boss. Now that's a nice one. It's called a memory access device. That should pull memories out of just about anything. What do you want for it? Got a customer looking for something real antique and fancy. Find me that, you got yourself a deal. That's a water chip. Scavenger brought it in from the dunes. I traded it for a geck. A what? Never mind. We don't need water, let alone a water chip. I'm not going to threaten him. I need to see what he's offering before I can make a trade. Hey, Armstrong, top me off, will you? Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. I said something shiny, not something that shines. There's a difference? You're gonna have to do better than that. I don't deal in junk, Tyler. 
that's not what it looks like from here. It's not worth trading for that. It's not worth trading. Hmm. Right, so... Where to now? We need to get to the Underworks. There's no way I can reach that. Did you grab that lantern? No, I already got you a lantern, and it works just fine. Fair enough. Boss, is that really Metropole out there? It must be. But it's so brown. I'd say it's more red than brown. Whatever it is, it brings new meaning to rust and ruin. I've got a feeling I'm gonna regret this, boss, but do you think maybe we should try scrounging in the underworks? Yes, but how do we get there? Hey Armstrong, top me off, will ya? It's a price list for the oil, solvents, and catalysts they offer here. At the bottom it says that all payments must be made through an account with Metromind, which I don't plan on opening. Wait, was that a hatch back there? It's too heavy for me to lift. How the hell do I get to the Underworks? Hmm. I have nothing to say to him. I'm not here to steal parts. Pretty sure that wiring isn't up to code. So maybe need to leave the city first and then get down there. Oh, there's a door here. Anyone home? Anyone home? I'm not going to force my way in. Hey Armstrong, top me off, will ya? It's too heavy for me to lift. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? Fine, fine, put me down for another mega cycle. Maybe this is obvious to you, boss, but you might want to see if we can get that crowbar of Leopold's. I bet we could use it to pry up the manhole cover. And by we, I mean you, seeing as how I have no arms. Or interest in visiting the Underworks. That is a good idea. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. What does he want for it? I'll trade it to you for something shiny. Something shiny. I said something shiny, not something. All right. Not interested, Tyro. So we need something shiny.
It's no longer operational. Can we salvage it? There's no reason to cut that. It's not. not gonna happen, Lampy. This is no time for sitting around. Something shiny like this lantern. No, it's not shiny though. Quite a tower. idea sounds like we need to get into the courthouse and talk to arbiter yeah but we can't get in there since you want to make the to spoil the place since you want to oh my goodness that was a weird voice strong top me off will you Nothing more to say to him. Boss, did you ever consider that sometimes I just run out of clever ideas? I'm not going to threaten him. Nothing there to receive the signal. There's nothing that there's nothing more. Looks like I can go downstairs. I didn't see that before. Oh, yeah, I did. I am waiting. Yes, we know you're waiting. We've got to find a way to clear the line to get into the courthouse. Because honestly, I refuse to wait in line. Not even for a power core. Not even for a gynoid. Well, maybe for a gynoid. Hello? Boss, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to find another way to communicate with it. I'm going to try sending messages to him in binary. On an analog transmitter? That sounds like fun. For once, I'm glad you're the one with hands. Bulbs unfurl their spirals and... What's he saying? Shh. That would sing with me in exchange for I trade my second What he sold me does not say. You would have. It's a record. The Apollo tricked me, and he will not return my mind. I'm so fast. I 
Talk to Leopold about a motor. What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is locked, and first come, first serve. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex, Cornelius built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 10, 23 flops short of a kilo, if you catch my drift. The machine's name is Osborne built. Rex Osborne built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! This is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? Would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispy and for all I care. As long as you still pull things off ledgers for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, fool. The law. Please excuse my brother. He can barely remember Pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. For? I arrest my case. Suffice it to say, chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro Mind, perhaps? Authority, to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for good of all. And since the subway schemer... He means Metro Mind. ...shut down our builder factor, he cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I've built a robot before, and I had no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reasoning is sound? Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What do I say? I say that you are a liar and a thief, Oswald. But as to this Horatio, well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. Shh! Roger, consider this. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for the party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? Is this some kind of vocab test? I said quiet. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. Blasted stone wireless. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous! Pay attention! Fractor or Sternweiler? Quad core, linear type, or multiplex? Indeed. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilities. First, there are more factor built robots than Sternweiler builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by Fractor. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen. Which of the following statements about the probability circle cannot possibly be true? Oh, jeez. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Indeed. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for the party. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. Now, I will tell you three things about these probabilities. First, there are more factor built robots than stone wireless built. Second, every linear type robot was built by Factor. Finally, Stone Wyler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probability circle cannot possibly be true? 